Hi there, I'm Kelly Keene and I'm a personal finance educator and author. So what does that mean? Well, basically I write and talk about money all day long and I've been doing it for over 25 years. And my mission is for you and all Canadians to feel good about money. So let's get right into it with my four simple lessons to greater wealth in your life. This is a lottery ticket. I'm sure you've seen someone on TV or socials that won a big jackpot. Maybe even you or your friends have dreamed about winning a pot of dough, but I'd highly recommend that you never waste your money on them. You know why? Because even if you bought 50 lottery tickets a week for your entire working lifetime, you'd still only be likely to win once every 5,000 years. That's right, you're more likely to get hit by lightning than win. What's more, you may be surprised to learn that after just six short months, most winners are no happier and after six to seven years, they've lost all of it and some are even worse off than before. You may see people seemingly become an instant success overnight, whether it's a celebrity or an athlete. You're not seeing the decades of work that it likely took. Now it's natural to want to find financial hacks, but really slow and steady wins the race. There's a huge difference between investing and gambling. Stock tips and quick wins, they may seem sexy and exciting, but the house always wins in the end. But if you learn about investing, compound interest and more, you can actually become a millionaire yourself without the gambling. You just need time and consistency on your side. So there's no shortcuts for building wealth. Unfortunately, there's also no shortage of fraudsters trying to convince you otherwise. So if it sounds too good to be true, it almost always is. You've likely spent your entire life trying to avoid or manage peer pressure. And maybe you're hoping that just one day when you're a mature adult, it'll just disappear. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't. Peer pressure is something we all deal with, whether we're 16 or 60. And largely, it can become an unconscious process that affects our needs, wants, and spending decisions. Studies have actually shown that if your friends start or stop a behavior like running or smoking, it can affect you. And the shocking part is you don't even have to see them regularly for their positive or negative habits to affect you. I'll confess something. Growing up, money was almost non-existent being raised by a single mom. She was amazing and taught my brothers and I sound financial lessons. But I entered adulthood with what I call a poor kid syndrome. Basically, I succumbed to the pressures to look richer than I was and I went so far as to buy a very expensive luxury car in my early 20s that I simply couldn't afford. It didn't help that the advertisers did a brilliant job in enticing me with that shiny new trophy piece. It was a costly mistake that affected my finances for over a decade. And I made that mistake before social media even existed. Be honest, have you ever posted a social media picture just to make your followers a little jealous? Maybe you worked hard to have the situation look better than it actually was? Well, we've all done it. Before social media, people only used to compare themselves to people they knew and saw on a regular basis. But now you can see the intimate lives of celebrities and billionaires and wonder how you can keep up with their incredible lifestyles. But that is the wrong thing to focus on. So talk to your parents about helping you find real role models that have built their wealth over time. Let's explore a helpful way of thinking about how to spend your money. Of all of the fun things you may wanna do, trips, concerts, new clothes, tech or games, how do you choose? You know you can't have everything, but how do you actually narrow down what you really want? I'd like to introduce you to a concept called opportunity costs. Now, it might sound a little complex, but really it's super simple. When you have one option, you lose the potential gain from another. So take my outfit, for example. This belt of mine, it's actually an expensive brand, but I love it. And I've worn it at least once a week for over 10 years, but my pants, they only cost $20. It's a trade-off I'm willing to make. Here's another example. Maybe your heart is set on an upcoming camping trip with your friends. What other opportunities will you have to give up to afford it? Maybe a few video games that you've also been thinking about? When you view spending money within the parameters of all of the other opportunities you now can't have, 
it can actually help you figure out if you still truly want that thing. I don't know about you, but I love splurging on a fancy mocha with almond milk every so often. You likely do too. Let me ask you a question. If you were sitting on the subway or transit, would you give your yummy drink to the stranger sitting next to you? Likely not. A super silly question, right? Well, actually there's a faulty wiring in our brains called the present bias. And what it means is that we prioritize our current wants over our future goals. Actually, if you were to just close your eyes right now and think of yourself, a part of your brain lights up. But if you think about a stranger, it dims down. That makes sense, right? But if you were to think of yourself just a few years down the line, it actually stays dim as if you're thinking about a stranger. It's so hard to delay the gratification of today when you aren't connected to the you of the future. So take a few moments today to picture yourself in the next one, two, and three years, even five. What are you wanting to do and get? Maybe a new car? Less student loan debt? The question is, are you willing to make a few sacrifices today for a more prosperous you down the line? Now, I'm not saying you can't indulge a little now and then, but if you think of yourself in the future and balance your wants now, you can achieve the great goals that you set for yourself. So that's our four lessons to have you feeling better about some money concepts so you can start your journey to achieving the goals that you have now and in the not so distant future. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to share this video with your friends.